Hey everybody, we're back with another dose of getting technical and this week is special because with me today I have Wild Bill Cody to explain some things about our Jax 321 program. So, you know, being in the the hydroponics space and the uh, the canna space, you know, we see a lot of other nutrient companies and what they're doing is, you know, you have your veg formula and your bloom or flower formula and you know, you switch from one to the other. And, uh, you know, here at Jack's Nutrients, we always are trying to do things a little different and make things easier for you, the grower. Uh, and so, so yeah, so people are often confused because on our end, for 321, you know, we have our Part A plus Part B plus Epsom salts. And we recommend that for not only the veg period, but also flour. Um, and so, yeah, wanted to connect with Cody here today to really dive into, you know, Cody, why do we recommend using that 321 program during both veg and bloom versus switching to something different entirely? Yeah, for sure, Mason. That's a great question. And I uh, just want to say shout out to anybody who's growing cannabis, uh, you know, whether it's recreational for recreational use, uh, if you're a caregiver helping people, if you're if you're paying the bills at a commercial facility, shout out to all of you. We love you guys. Um, but yeah, Mason, to answer your question directly. Um, so working with our trial growers for about the last 10 years, we figured out that using 50 parts per million nitrogen of part A and 150, uh, 100 parts per million nitrogen of part B, so a total of 150 parts per million nitrogen is a really good amount for vegetative growth, for vegetative plants. Um, it's also a really good rate for flowering plants. And I can understand if you are like, why, why the hell would I use a vegetative formula for flowering plants? I mean, that makes sense. Like when I started out, I, I, I learned, you know, nitrogen and veg, phosphorus and flower and potassium during the finish. But, you know, now we're actually able to do some studies with, uh, you know, cannabis plants and nutrients. And there was a study done at NC State by Brian Whipker and his colleagues um, where actually in peak flowering, you'll see the chart here pop up on the screen. Peak flowering, they're recommending 200 to 225 parts per million nitrogen. And if you think about it, it kind of makes sense. I mean, at peak flower, your plants are going to be pretty big. So the amount of nitrogen that you're giving the plants, it's going to be pretty diluted in that plant. Plus, plants still need nitrogen when they're growing in flower. Um, and with the part A, 512-26, yeah, we're giving 150 parts per million nitrogen, but we're also giving a lot of phosphorus and potassium, which is really essential for, you know, solid bud growth. All right. So, <laughs> so that explains a lot. Um, so what is the 10, 30, 20 bloom formula? You know, obviously 10, 30, 20, that is a lower end value and you're, you're jacking up the phosphorus, you know, what is that designed to do? And, you know, why is it only designed to be used for, you know, one to two weeks of bud set? Yeah, for sure. So the 10, 30, 20 bloom was designed to be used the day you turn your lights to 12, 12. Um, and we recommend using that for about one to two weeks. And the idea behind it is as your plant is making that natural transition into flower due to the light change, uh, we want to be pumping the plants with a lot of phosphorus. And that's exactly what the bloom does. Pumps the plants with phosphorus and it really sends these short bursts saying, hey, let's shut down vegetative growth and let's transition into flower. Um, so, you know, it really creates this smooth transition into flower and really gets those white hairs that we like to see start popping up. Um, and we recommend using that for about one to two weeks, uh, mainly because you're pumping it with so much phosphorus and it doesn't have any calcium in it. So if you extend the time uh, past two weeks, and depending on your source water, uh, you most likely will run into a calcium deficiency. So after those one to two weeks are up, jump back into your base formula, whether it's the 321, 12416, 15520, or the 18823. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And I think that some folks are, are afraid that, you know, after that two weeks, that if they switch back to the, the, the a, B, Epsom program that, you know, oh, my plant's going to revert to veg, but that's not, that's not necessarily how plants work. And once you kind of tell them to start that reproductive life cycle, mm -hmm. you know, they're going to fit, they're going to take that to the end. Right. Uh, but, you know, we have some people that ask like, oh, should I be using this all the way through flower? And the answer is no, because you, you will run into a calcium deficiency mm -hmm. because that formula just doesn't have the calcium that the other parts have. 
so the same yeah. question here, Cody, you know, after we, we finish that flower cycle, you know, we have the Jack's nutrients, seven, 15, 30 finish formula. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, that we see a shift in numbers there as well, kind of away from nitrogen, away from phosphorus and, you know, more into that potassium. So what is that finish formula designed to do? And again, why do we only use that for one to two weeks? Yeah, for sure. So <clears throat> the 71530 finish formula was is very similar to the bloom in application rates and the amount of time that you want to use it. So we recommend using the finish the last one to two weeks uh, before you flush. If you flush, we know there's a big debate there uh, or you harvest. So, yeah, pumping the plants with um, the 71530 finish. And we're actually reducing the parts per million of nitrogen to 100 parts per million nitrogen. But you're giving your plants 355 parts per million of potassium. So that potassium is really going to be pumped into those buds and really get them juicy, juicied up and fat, fattened up. So we're trying to grow these fat colas when you guys are using Jacks. You know, we don't want to mess around with these little popcorn buds. Uh, it's not what we're doing here at Jacks. I love it. I love <laughs> it, man. Well, you know, that's some great information. Anything else for us this week, Cody? uh just keep on keeping on um you know keep growing buds keep calling us for questions we're always here to answer um that's right just keep keep on keeping on and i promise that we didn't dump dan in a dumpster somewhere he (laughs) is just out on the road and tackling tough grower questions but i'm sure he'll be back with us soon so until next time keep the questions coming in if you have any questions get a hold of us and uh yeah we'll see you next week all right guys see ya